Hello everybody, this is a 5 minutes tutorial about PROM, the process mining tool. In this tutorial you learn about to, how to import and investigate a dataset, how to clean a dataset and finally you learn how to apply mining techniques on your dataset. So let's dive right into the process model. First uh, you have to import your log file, so therefore click on the import button and select the XES file and click on open to proceed. Take the default settings here and click OK. So now the import the log file is imported. So uh, for the mining procedure we just want to investigate complete cases so therefore we first have to clean the data set. Uh, therefore choose the log file and click on the I symbol and as we can see here uh, in the summary we have uh, one start event which is A with eight occurrences and one end event which is C also eight occurrences. This means that we only have complete cases in our log file and therefore we uh, do not uh, have to uh, clean this, this data set. However, if you want to clean the data set, you have to go back and uh, choose the log file and click on the action button. And you have to choose the action filter log using simple heuristics. which is not active because we have to import the log file first. So, uh, log, uh, the, so click on the log file and click select. And now you can choose it. So filter log using simple heuristic, click on start. We want to keep complete uh, cases. So here we choose complete, uh, keep, click on next. If you want to select uh, start events with a particular frequency, you can change that here. But we click on next. The same holds for the end events and the same holds for the event filter. So click on finish. And as you can see, nothing changes uh, compared to the initial log file because we only had uh, complete cases in the initial log file. So uh, what we want to do next is we want to uh, observe um, the control flow model of the process so therefore we go back to the initial screen <clears throat> and we now have a second uh, log file which is the filtered one and you choose the filtered one and click again on the action button and uh, now uh, we want to apply the alpha algorithm first so therefore uh, uh, choose the alpha algorithm which is this one click on start and as you can see the alpha algorithm does not deal nice with our process model because A is not uh, connected to B and B is also not connected to C so therefore uh, we want to apply other mining techniques to investigate if we can get better results and as a secondary uh, example we want to apply the inductive miner so you go back and uh, choose now the inductive miner which, uh, which is the first one here click on start uh, take the default settings here and click on finish and as you can see now the, the inductive miner deals better with our process model because we can now apply each case uh, to to this to this model. So uh, what we want to do next is uh, yeah this this process model is is looks a bit boring and we can do this uh, this graphic more interactive and uh, we can animate this uh, process model with the uh, inductive visual miner. So therefore go back to the action section and uh, take the third option here and click on start. And as we can see here, uh, the workflow model is now firing uh, four tokens through the through the through the net. And uh, if we want to compare this to our to the cases we have, uh, you can see that uh, these are actually not single tokens, but these are multiple tokens overlapping. So the first token is actually two tokens. Uh, but it is uh, case one 
which goes directly from A to C. So uh, this is case two, uh, which are three tokens uh, that are passing B one time. Then this is case three that passes B uh, two times. And this is case four that passes B four times. And uh, to make this more clear, we can now uh, refine the path view and we can now see the token uh, looping through B before finishing the workflow.